to you guys and program being part of the Big 12 and expecting things like that? Man. Well, being a big part of the Big 12 is amazing. Uh, having Oklahoma is a real big honor. Uh, they're a great team, and they've been playing great this season too. So having them come into our house and and having their momentum and our momentum come together, it's going to be a great game, great big game. Corey, you're a senior. How fast have these last five years gone by for you? Well, I'll tell you what, becoming a freshman and you know, looking at the seniors, being you know, wishing you could be them just so you could play and have a big stage like that. Now becoming a senior, it's just like I don't even know what happened my sophomore, junior year. It's like it went so by so fast. And having the last game of the season already here and being senior day, the last game I'm ever going to play in the AMG Car Stadium is, is just – it's like you were on the Autobahn, you know, you it went by so fast. <laughs> and on top of that, in the last couple last of these, West Virginia against Texas, uh, you had some huge uh, receptions. Uh, oh, yes, sir. It's never too late to be coming into the game plan. So it's uh, it's pretty <laughs> awesome uh, getting some love. And I've been getting love all season. And I've just been helping everybody else out. And and now getting the ball, it's, just, it's amazing. And, you know, just keep working hard and keep pushing through everything. It's, it's been paying off. Has, Cor- when you talk about the time you've been here, obviously there's been – a lot of success and then a big transition to the Big 12. Considering all that's happened, how, how satisfied are you guys with where this team is right now? You know, it's my, it's my dream come true. Um, being in the Mountain West was an amazing honor, and especially winning the last three years was an amazing honor. But when I was a little kid growing up in, you know, UT and A&M country, it's just like all you heard was Big 12, all you heard was Big 12. And so coming into the Big 12 and finally getting a, a chance to get into the Big 12 and, and wrecking stuff, is, is amazing because it's just my dream come true to play in the Big 12 and on this big stage. What do you make of the young guys on this team? There's so many young We have so many young guys. We have so many starters. We have so many uh, young freshmen playing. It's going to be amazing the next couple of years watching them grow up. And, and they've been doing a phenomenal job what they've uh, accomplished this year. Uh, all the freshmen, I mean, most of them are going to have accolades on you know, what, what they've been doing. So it's just outstanding to watch them grow up you know, before my eyes too. Talk about those young guys. Obviously, it's, Coach Patterson's talked about having to be a little more patient. Have you seen any more patience or any difference? Uh, you know, he he's been doing a great job growing these uh, freshmen up really fast, actually, and they they have been growing up extremely fast. And it's a uh, it's uh, I think he's doing a great job what he's doing and how he has to slow his teaching down because he, he's had a bunch of seniors last year and, and the year before that was even more seniors. So what he's been doing with these freshmen is amazing. And you can see on the field that he's been doing a great Sounds job. Sounds like these freshmen are getting off easy compared to when you were first. <laughs> <laughs> a little different story. <laughs> we had Andy and everybody else. So. So, so is he patient? More patient? He, you know, he's been doing a great job. Like I said, he's been doing he's – uh, he's, he's been going slower, I'll tell you that. He's had to change his coaching a little bit, but he's been doing a great job. How big is it to win a home conference game here? Is that something you guys are talking about? Uh, we've always talked about it. Every, any game winning at home is a big game. And, and in front of our home crowd, it's uh, it's amazing to win. So winning a conference game, it might be a little bit bigger, but we take this each game the same way, of, you know, must win. So, yeah, I would say, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> Growing up in UT country, how how big of a win was that for you guys against Texas? You know, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was a conference game, so it was a big win, and, you know, UT for me was a it was a huge win for me, but for this team it's it's just another game because they're UT, but you know it's just a conference game. We're in, we're in this conference to be you know win it, and we can win it. To, we can win it. We're we're just as good as anybody else. But satisfaction, personal satisfaction was it was huge. <laughs> it was a huge time. If you could pick a destination, where would you like to go bowling this year? You know every bowl game is a great bowl, so. Every game we're going to maybe Houston or Arizona, San Diego again. I love San Diego. We've been there. This will be my third time if we go there again. So, you know, I'm just happy becoming a senior and getting a chance to go to another bowl game, be a fifth bowl game. So, that's anywhere is happy for me. You, you know, see the I mean, offense uh, staying the same kind of conservative game plan? Uh, I don't think uh, OU blitz as much as uh, UT. So, I, we might have to change it a little bit. But, um We'll see here in about another hour what, they, what we change it into. <laughs> <laughs> one more question with Corey, and he's got to go. Corey, you've it. been one of the older guys on this team. Uh, Coach Patterson always talks about growing them up, and we've seen how you have grown up on the field. How have these guys been growing up off the field? Uh, you know what? It's, uh, everybody's maturing. And, and the more you play, the more you realize how fast you have to grow up. So, you know, seeing these guys off the field and being how mature they are, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing to see, you know, a whole class of freshmen playing, and then a whole class of freshmen that weren't playing. Like, I, like a bunch of my classmen weren't playing. So it was being with them. You could tell a huge difference in maturity in these guys, and it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun to come back to the games and see this uh, stadium be real loud for these guys.